So I'm just going to make a real quick video. Um, we had a PS2 controller. Um, one of the cats started munching on it and it wouldn't work. It was crazy. Um, this is kind of what it looks like inside all these wires here. But inside the sleeves themselves there's a lot of this wool and stuff. So when you get some uh, wire trimmers here. Uh, for a start you need special kind of really small ones. These are I think 0.32 millimeter ones. So for a start you need some of these. But when you start pulling on the wires the uh, ribbon inside doesn't want to break and it tends to just pull the wire away and when you're doing all these wires it, it's frustrating when you get halfway down and you mess one up and snap it off and start again so what I did I got some of these RJ45 uh, network uh, ends here because inside the PS2 controller there's eight wires and sort of one uh, little I'll show you here right here so this is what I did it doesn't really matter what order it, um, it's in as long as the other one's the same then you can just sort of connect them together here I've got two male ends because that's what kind of came with my crimp tool here this is just a standard network crimp tool you can get them off eBay they're about fifteen dollars something like that but I had it in the house anyway so that's the cool thing about it so you put all eight wires in here whichever order you want as long as they're both the same and there's this extra kind of sleeve wire here which actually didn't need to be connected I just kind of left it out in case I needed to sort of fashion something with that and then for connecting these together just use the RJ45 coupler just looks like these here's a more expensive one and here's a cheaper one from China you can get 10 of these for about a dollar if you're willing to wait we can grab one of these for a couple dollars really cheap you just plug it in there plug it in there then not only do you have a repaired PS2 controller, you also have a quick release. So you can leave this in your PlayStation, and then you can just pull your PlayStation out, tidy it away better, then the only thing hanging from your console is your little dongle right here. And you can cut this as short as you want. You can cut it here if you want, so it helps with cable organization too. So I hope that helps you. I've linked the parts in the description below. Let me know how you get on with yours.